Yes, Cowbell uh, Football Academy. It was launched uh, a couple of days back and it's good to see uh, Cowbell coming into the free of things. So let's take a look at what went down at the stadium right there. We're partnering with the right guy. You know, in Dudu, there's a guy who's recognised for his passion for grassroots soccer. And the key thing for us is to partner with somebody who we can engage with to make this programme sustainable and consistent over time. Cowbell is the milk of the people, by the people, for the people. And that's why we like to work in a grassroots way and support local indigenous projects. So it's the Nigerian Olympic team. It's uh, Nigerian kids starting to play rugby in I try or soccer in the grassroots or volleyball at NYSC. We're about grassroots. I think it's fantastic what we've seen, the skill we've seen of, from the kids today and we hope that into the future we can develop future Nigerian soccer stars and future world beaters, the Ronaldos and Messi's of this world who come from our academy. We're in this for the long haul. Um, my vision, my personal vision as Martin Director and for the companies that we develop Footballers that in four or five years time will play for the national team, either the junior national teams or the senior national teams. Until we get to that point where we ingrain this as, as something that is part of the incubator for uh, future stars in Nigeria and Africa, we won't stop. I promise you that in another three years, uh, you will not believe it's the same academy because Carbell have promised to, give me, to make the platform stronger. We will expand to three other cities. We will. Um, get the very best of them into residential and begin to teach, you know, football administrators the idea of players graduating. We're all holding on to your promises, Dudu Orume, and of course we expect with your expertise as a football administrator to see the Cowbell Football Academy grow in leaps and bounds.